With the holiday season comes a whole lot of entertaining, meeting up with family, meeting up with friends. Care must be taken that most people should not go overboard and overdo it. Let a star day shine through and through just with some accompaniments on the side. One such star dish that is always a sure shot success and so damn easy to create is my braised tenderloin with gorgeous mushroom and carrots. Being the star at the table, all it needs is some bay leaf scented long grain rice and you're good to go. French in nature, but so true to the element that Christmas brings to the entire dining experience. Let's get to creating. French food always requires to follow the principles that makes French cooking so unique. No French food is ever complete without a stick of butter and some glorious red wine. Every stew requires red wine just to give it that robust flavor. And that principle goes here as well where all you need to do is use a heavy bottle of red and create this. I love using red wine in everything possible and I even love enjoy drinking it. As we allow the red wine to breathe, we are going to start off by melting some butter and just searing the bacon laden. So in goes about 30 to 40 grams of butter, just allow it to melt and we are going to sear some bacon along with it. So I've got about 200 grams of bacon lardens. In goes the bacon lardens and we are just going to allow this to now brown and give out all that smoky flavor into the fat. Four minutes into the process as you see the bacon getting that slight golden brown. In goes about 200 grams of these gorgeous baby carrot bacons and we are going to allow this to brown along with the bacon allowing all this to sear for a good four to five minutes it we reserve it on the side just to put it back into the stew before it goes into the oven we've just preheated the oven to 160 degrees celsius for about 15 minutes and the entire gorgeous bacon fat and butter i'm going to get it to a near smoking point ready to sear our tenderloin so here i've got about a kg to a kg 200 grams of tenderloin fillet that I've cut into about two inch pieces and on that I'm going to scatter about three tablespoons of refined flour just to lightly coat it but we also have to season so in goes a fine sprinkling of some rosemary lavender sea salt just go as it suits your needs and I like the sharp flavor that rosemary and lavender get through this braised tenderloin so with this fine sprinkling done, now you need to add some heat and that heat comes with an overload of freshly milled black pepper. So I'm just going overboard because we like the sharp flavor that pepper adds to this and winter requires a fine set of spices just to give it that elevation. You can also add about a teaspoon to one fourth teaspoon of about either some clove powder, some allspice powder or some nutmeg powder just to elevate this. Now this is what I enjoy doing, just allow everything to dust and lightly coat. It kind of creates a mess in the kitchen but it's the best way to coat everything. With the fat at its optimum heat, all you need to do now is put this in and allow it to sear. Sear it on the highest possible flame so it gets that gorgeous coating and the entire meat gets caramelized within. Two minutes into the process, turn it. You can see how it's gorgeously got that crunch and that char and that just locks in all the juices and the flavor. We take these out into another bowl and get to adding the next batch in. So I like cooking a kg of tenderloin in two batches so that they sear well. Get that gorgeous crust when you pick it up. You can feel the crunch and allow it to nestle on the side. In goes the next batch of lightly coated meat. 
with the tenderloin beautifully seared and got that gorgeous golden brown now this is the stage where you assemble everything together but in most cases you're supposed to remove off all this excess fat and discard it however this is flavorful gorgeous and i'm going to reserve this and use it while creating my bay leaf scented long grain pilaf with the fat reserved and set aside in goes back again the tenderloin fillet along with the bacon and carrot shards six cloves of garlic finely minced a large bunch of some thyme two bay leaves just roughly torn up here i've got some tomato paste about 3 tablespoons just to give it that tart element and finally i'm using a good tenderloin stock you can go right ahead and use a cube and create the same results so take about 2 cups of water and add a cube into it and create this allow this just to scent accentuate and marry into each other before adding what completes any french party stew and that is that full body red wine that we had breathing on the side in goes my favorite part about 3 cups of this gorgeous full body red just to give it that robusty color and you have to put it just till it covers the tenderloin not too much and you don't want it to be too winey in nature or too sharp a flavor the moment out here you get this gorgeous burgundy color you know you're on the perfect right track in creating this gorgeous braised tenderloin while the carrots are going to cook for the next 90 minutes in the gorgeous sauce we're just going to saute the mushrooms to put in right at the end out here you can either cook this on the slowest possible simmer on the flame and allow it to cook or just put it into the oven for 90 minutes at 160 degrees celsius and you're good to go while for me festive cooking is also about having relaxed cooking come alive so i'm putting this into the oven all i've done is allowed it to simmer for a good 2 to 3 minutes and while the internal temperature has reached the temperature of the oven that's about 160 degrees celsius we're just going to cover this and put it straight in i've kept it 3 quarter of a tray down so that it cooks at the slowest possible temperature 160 degrees celsius for about 90 minutes for the first 30 minutes i'm just going to play with the dogs and irritate them and in the last 30 minutes i'm going to get to creating that gorgeous baby scented pilaf i'm so tired of me who are you searching for why you can get it having irritated zia and zoe to a point where they have decided to abandon me and get into the azen space right under the christmas tree it's now time to saute the mushrooms and create that gorgeous bay leaf scented long grain pilaf so to start off in a one of my gorgeous pans that i keep using every now and then i'm just going to use the reserved bacon and butter fat that we had kept aside from the tenderloin that we were raising add that into the pan let all the bits and all come in because it just adds to that gorgeous flavor that is required for this rice into that we're going to take two bay leaves tear them up roughly put them in and about four cloves of garlic finely minced just going in as well i like using all the charred up bits as well over here because it just adds that more flavor into the rice as this sizzles and you get the sharp overtones of garlic with the slight undertone of the bay leaf 
walking through your entire kitchen. It's now time to add in some long grain rice. So I'm using basmati rice, which I had washed and soaked. Two cups of it going in and we're just going to allow this to saute and get to a perfect neutral color before adding in some gorgeous chicken stock. All you need to do is saute this for about four to five minutes till it gets slightly opaque in color, but it has absorbed all the flavor, that garlic, the bay leaf, and that gorgeous fat that we reserve into each other. And then you add the stock. It's such a simple process. Now as the rice is sauteing on the other pan, into another pan, I'm just going to melt about a cube of butter. And into that I'm going to add about 200 grams of these gorgeous mushrooms. Just the caps, so that they saute and get to absorb most of the flavor. We're going to season it with a fine sprinkle of some rosemary lavender salt and some pepper and allow it to saute on the slowest possible simmer for about four to five minutes till they get soft and have all that flavor within. You usually know that basmati rice is sauteed really well when you get that sharp, very peculiar scent that it brings to the entire creation. As your kitchen gets that gorgeous scent walking through the air, all you need to do is add about four cups of chicken stock into the mix. So basmati rice follows the principalities of one is to two. So one cup of rice to two cups of stock, water, or just about any liquid medium that suits your fancy. Season with a bit of salt. So I'm using just normal fine powdered salt and allow it to come to a roaring boil. The moment the rice comes up to a little below the water, you lower the heat and cook it on the slowest possible simmer. As you see out here, the rice has reached the liquid level. All we're going to do now is lower the flame and cook it covered for about 10 minutes till it's just about done and we're going to take a fork and just loosen out the grains post that. 90 minutes of cooking to perfection. The braised tenderloin is ready. All we're going to do now is take it out, just stir the pot and add in the mushrooms. This has got that gorgeous color and the tenderloin is done perfectly well and the sauce is rich and laden with flavor. All you need to do now is either transfer this into another bowl or go right ahead and add the sauteed mushrooms in. Just give it a stir and this gorgeous creation needs to have a slight garnish. So you can garnish it either with some flat leaf parsley or like me, I'm just using curly parsley, about a tablespoon and a tablespoon and a half just to give it that robust burst of flavor and freshness. This gorgeous braised tenderloin pairs perfectly well with the bay leaf scented pilaf or you can ha also have it with some boiled noodles, some mashed potato or just some sardo bread. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous braised tenderloin, French and rustic in nature. It pairs really well with the bay leaf scented pilaf. You can have some sauteed vegetables or just some sauteed mushy peas on the side. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.